well. They don't know you well. You, 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 you be making sense. You be making sense to me. You want to tell me that after all these years, you want to dump me for another woman? Smart. Hell, go to hell and do whatever you want to do. But I'm telling you now, I, I, I never promised you marriage. All right? We're just friends, and friends we shall be. Tell Smart, me you never promised me marriage. I never promised you marriage. After all those years, after all those suitors that have been coming to me, that have been rejecting me, I have been with you, I have been beside you. You are now saying to me that like, you did not promise me marriage. Smart. You know, I thought you were smart because you had something upstairs. But it's obvious you are dumb. There's nothing in that big head of yours. Smart, you are mad. You are a big fool. You are an idiot. Wait, 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 wait. You are mad. Wait, 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 wait. Say that again. You are a fool. Hey, hey, hey. You are a fool. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, smart. Hey, listen, listen, you're my man. You, do, you don't need to do this now, huh? Why are you making your zen on a public video call? Bro, huh? if you don't want blood to flow, tell this girl to get the hell out of my house. Tell her now! Come on. Okay. Can you imagine? Because of this fool, my fiance came to this house and she left! Now I don't even know where she is. Her numbers are not gone. Why did you allow her to sleep out in the first place? It's not because of her. She and Priska turned my house to a battlefield. Coincidentally, my girl came in here and saw them fighting and she had to leave. Ask this girl, did I promise you marriage in any way? Did I propose to you? Ask your friend too. Ask him. If he did not promise me marriage, why would he take me around to his football games, to, to, to his club, everywhere he's going, he would take me with him? Okay. Why? No, no, no. Gentlemen, lady. Um, you, don't, you don't have sense. No, why? Why do you waste my time? No, it's, don't. it's okay. It's okay. Listen. I think um, I'll prefer a solution to this situation. I beg you, maintain peace, okay? Huh? Nonsense. It's okay. No, 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 don't tell me that. This one is the very wicked animal. He's very wicked. God will punish you. My God will punish you. You will never be happy in this life. You will never be happy to. If you want peace to reign in this house, then tell this girl to leave this house now. Tell her to go. I need her out of my house now. Dima, Dima, Dima. Dima, Dima, Dima. Demo tutu, dime fifie, dima yasi. One name when he fell asleep, no be kaliu do kadim. Dima, 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 dima. Demo tutu, dime fifie, dima yasi. One name when he. <laughs> oh, look at my sweet love. The love of my life. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. You're my everything. <laughs> You're my sister. You're my mother. You're my confidant. You're my lover. The love of my life. I... My jewel of inestimable value. Oh. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> I wonder how my life would have been like without you. <laughs> my love. I bless the day we found each other. My love, I have one prayer point every day. And what is it, my baby? I pray that that our God should give us long life. Amen. And when that time comes that he wants us to come back home, that he should call us the same time. My love. The same day. My love, I pray he grants you that request. I know he will. <laughs> because he knows he created us to be like this. <laughs> yes, he puts so much love in our hearts. I love you so much. I love you more than words can say. I love you more than life itself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What else can I ask God? <laughs> Mama. Papa. Enough of this love. Please 
stop it, Ikechi. How can you tell us to stop loving ourselves? Stop it if you don't have anything to say, please. Ikechi <laughs> Owa. You see, this love was specially made up there in heaven. It just came and we are happy over it. Yes. There is really nothing we can do about it. <laughs> in fact, it is a follow come. <laughs> uh, stop, Papa. Uh, I'm saying that both of you are too old for love matters and you're there still kissing Mama's hand. Look, this love can never go old. It renews itself every day like fresh wine. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> and uh, if only it was possible to share in the love, oh. I would have, but unfortunately, she's for me alone. <laughs> <laughs> The love of my life, I love you and I will always love you. Okay. Oh, my most precious jewel, I love you too. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. What's this? Come on. <laughs> Victoria, were you not the one I asked to burn some hot water for me to take my bath with? Victoria? Excuse me, Dr. Wisdom. Please, let me just sound this as a warning to you. Stop ordering me around. Stop disturbing my peace. Victoria. I deserve as much rest. Victoria! Oh, excuse me, Mr. Man, or whatever you call yourself. You heard me well. See? Both of us retired from the active service together, same time. So, I need rest. Ah, what's all this? Every time you be disturbing me, sending me around. You know, it's really a little thing. Don't you have legs and hands? Mom! Dad, what is it? Can't we have peace because of you guys? Shama, could you just imagine? Your so-called father asking me around as if I'm his uh, common domestic home? Why would he be disturbing me, ordering me around every time? I need peace, please. Don't disturb me, Mr. Ma. Dad. No, no, Choma, don't dad me. I don't need this popping J attitude. Now tell me, is it out of place for me to ask my wife for a simple errand? As a husband of the house, is that too much? But dad, he knew I was around. All you needed to have done was just to call me and tell me whatever errand you want to be run and it, you have it done. That's it. Please, Chum. Just warn your father to desist from ordering me around. I deserve as much rest as he does. Hey? Excuse me? Oh, really? So we are now rubbing shoulders. You are the, the man and I am also the man. In the house? Is that it? Victoria. Dr. Wisdom, Mr. Wisdom, whatever you call yourself, let me just take this categorically. I want you to know that I believe in gender equality. Did you hear that one? Gender equality. We are equal. So are every other people. So don't, don't, don't just be ordering me around. Answer me this question. Would something happen to you if you had walked straight to the kitchen and poured yourself some water? Will it change you from being Mr. to Mrs. or from being a doctor to a Mr.? Will you have died? Will something wrong have happened to you? Please, Mr. Man, don't disturb me next time. Tell him. Let him not repeat it again. Mom! Victoria! Victoria! I just hope that this year feminist method of gender equality will be there to define the word husband when the time comes. Dad! The person you're talking to is already inside and yet you're still talking to her. Tell me what you want. I need some hot water to take my bath. Is that all? That's all. 
consider it done. Now, can you stop? Doctors are in this way. Don't also underestimate the fact that I am a husband. I married a woman. Good morning, sir. Oh, smart. Sir, when did you come into town? I came in yesterday, but before I could uh, put myself together, it was it already. And I know your discipline about lead visits, so I had to just uh, forget about coming yesterday. Oh, you have a nice intuitive spirit. You know my rules already. It yeah. shows that you make a good son in law. <laughs> ah, please sit down. Of course. <laughs> Thank you, sir. It's all right. Of course, yes, I will make a good son in law. So, um, how are you enjoying enjoying your um, retirement? Ah, oh, well, uh, as you can see, uh, it's good to be home after 35 years of enslavement in public service. I'm here now and I'm enjoying these little fruits. Yeah, I don't need to go to the market, to the labor <laughs> market and get them. Yeah. And I'm studying rearing dogs and um, some chicks, you know, so uh, oh. I, I'm a handyman. Oh, I see, I see. You're doing very well, sir. I appreciate it. You're doing very well. I appreciate it. Ah. So what can I offer you? Ah, good morning, ma'am. <laughs> good morning, ma'am. Um, Mr. Smart. Ma. Are you sure that I was supporting a marriage proposal to my daughter, Chiu? Oh, hold on. Victoria, your narrative is a Renos. As far as I'm concerned, Chioma is our daughter, not your Why daughter. Why is it okay, Mr. or Dr. Wisdom, whatever you call yourself? Hold it, dear. Will you just shut, shut that thing you call your mouth? Let me just address this man's negligence of me. Of my person. Let me address him properly. Ma'am, um, I don't seem to understand what you're saying. I will just shut up. Or, do you prefer I send you out of our compound? Uh, uh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. It's better you're sorry. Um, that's why I did well. While both of you were exchanging, please address. Did you bother to ask after me? I, I was actually getting to that before you stepped in. You know, I... Shut! I said, shut, shut it! Hold it! Hold your stupid, senseless, and ignoramus defense, or I throw you out of our house. I'm sorry, ma'am. So sorry. It's better. It's better you are sorry. Let me now make it clear to you, for you to know that in as much as Chioma belongs to my husband and I, so do this house belongs to both of us. We have equal rights. Oh, no, 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 that's there. You're getting it wrong, Victoria. We do not have equal rights here. No, you are what to mark and stand there. You are my wife. I am the man of the house. You are a housewife. You know? Yes, no, 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 you are not I am not I am a I have never you been a housewife. And I will not be a housewife. And if I am a I have to get married. And you are not. You cannot. You cannot. Now hear what I tell you. This one don't pass it well. I'm so good at Kali. I did your poor no case your face. I did your poor no case your face. If you know giri, I know go giri. This one don't pass it travel. I'm so good at Kali. I did your poor no case your face. I was on the last long. I talk to you. No, no, it's your, it's your, it's your bit. I take it now. Really? I've had so much now. <laughs> you put five bits in the pit. You want me to eat all of the other things? My love, has it gotten <laughs> to this? It's your turn. Okay. On my honor, only you see. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you see, for honoring me and showing me respect in life, mm. good things shall never leave you. Amen. Yes, joy will continue to be your portion. Amen. When you look left, help will come. Amen. When you look right, help will come. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my husband have taught the pastor because of love. <laughs> yes. Amen. <laughs> um, How come the meat? I'm eating this one is sweeter. Uh, this, this one, this one is sweeter. I wanted to you give you spice. more. You put spice, more spice on this particular one you gave me. Ah. <laughs> ah. 
my husband. Mm. You will not kill me with jokes. Okay, mm? okay, okay, let me ask you. Did I magically put fresh spice now, now, now on the one you just ate? I, I, I don't know. All I know is <coughs> love mm. is sweeter than wine. Mm. Yes. Love ah. is sweeter than wine. I love you. I love you for life. My king. <laughs> my prince. Mm. The love of my life. Mm -hmm. My very own one and only husband. You are my bread. Ah. I want to imagine that <laughs> you will now leave now. My, you will now walk away. Ah. My heart will stop. Go for bed. Go for bed. Walk to where? You, you go nowhere now. But Mama, yes. Why have you maintained to this age the virtue of respecting and honoring Papa as if he's your God? <laughs> and catch you. Yes. You are right and very observant. But your father is my Lord. Even in the Bible. Sarah called Abraham Lord. And that same Bible instructed every woman to be submissive to their husbands. Hmm. That's good. And I am very happy to hear that too. Mm. Because I mean, the practice trend in our society now is gender equality. <laughs> And that is why there are so many cases of divorce these days. If you notice, plenty of homes are in serious chaos lately. Because of this same gender equality. With well, Mama, if I may ask, this your attitude of not taking meat while eating with Papa, <laughs> is it part of your respect? <laughs> yes, it's part of it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The Bible says that the man is the head of the family. So I must be submissive to everything he says. <laughs> and, uh, and you don't expect me to rub shoulders with my husband. Uh, no, no, no. I won't do that. Never. Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Mama. Mm. Huh. Oh, in as much as I want to be very respectful to my husband. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be over submissive like you. <laughs> the whole humility is excess. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's turning to foolishness. <laughs> oh, God. Look, humility costs you nothing. Yes. And humility buys you everything. Mm -hmm. eh? Of course. Is it not better I'm foolish? Mm. And remain foolish. Uh -uh. And live with your father in peace. Rather than be wise and be at war with him every day. Which one would you prefer? Which one would you prefer? <laughs> Please. Humility <laughs> costs nothing. Let me be foolish for your father. Biko. <laughs> Mama. And Kechi. <laughs> Go. Leave that one. <laughs> Forever lawyer. <laughs> you know, if I didn't apologize to your mother, she would have actually sent me out of this compound. <laughs> it was very funny. She's always like that. Very stern. Are you serious? Always dragging gender equality with my father. Yeah. I, I, I. They had a little argument, but <laughs> I'm glad your father knows how to follow her anyway. Eh? So, um, my love, when are you coming to the city to see me? I don't understand. When are you coming to the city so that we can finalize our marriage plans? Hmm? I know how to move ahead. Well, I don't actually know the date or what to tell you right now because I don't know how to convince my parents about that. Very simple. It's very simple. Look for something to tell them. Maybe you tell them you're going for to submit an assignment in school. Very simple. Huh? You maneuver these things. You you know how to, to do deal with your parents. Huh? Tell them okay. something. Hmm? I'll see what I can do. Are you sure? Because I'll be waiting for you. I'll see what I can do. Ah. <laughs> it's alright, I trust you. I'll be waiting, alright? Meanwhile, I've got something for you inside the car. Really? Yes. Papa, good morning. Oh, dear, my daughter. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. You're welcome. 
Oh, sit down, sit down. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so how are you? I am fine. And you? How are you? We are not doing badly. So how is Dr. Wisdom and Lady, Lady Victoria? Everyone is fine. Trust me. <laughs> I like the way they are blending to the village lifestyle. Mm. It's not really easy to, to adapt. <laughs> yes, you can say that again. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> they were offered an opportunity for them to travel to America through a family friend. Guess what? They refused. You can say that again. Yes, I think they are beginning to enjoy the village life. That's thoughtful of them. <laughs> um, Chioma, my daughter, you know, um, uh, make yourself comfortable. Let me get some few things done inside. Mm. Hmm? Okay. I hope Monkey is around though. Uh, no, she stepped out with her mother to see a neighbor close by. Oh. So they'll be back soon. I okay. said you, you want to wait for her? You want to go? No. I'll wait for her. I'm here already. I would have said, is this not your ma our family friend? <laughs> it's okay. So make yourself comfortable, okay? Thank you. All right, then. <laughs> come Hey. What are you doing? You have to go out all the way to get this drink from me. Well, of course. Before I left for the drink, we both agreed that you are a family member. Yes. Yes, no? we did. Uh, but not to an extent for you to go and get drink for me now. Uh, uh. Shema, my daughter, you amuse me. Okay, if I was as rich as your father, that, that would have been understandable. That means I would have stored some drinks inside the freezer. All I needed to do was go there, get one. But since I'm not, I had to go get one for you. <laughs> Thank you so much for this. It's out of the box. It's as if you're running errands for me. No, 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 no. I'm going to drink your malt. Hmm? Don't attach any importance to it. It's just my humble nature, okay? Thank you. Drink and wait for your friend, huh? Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, Chioma. You make me laugh. Wait. You are shouting because my husband went to buy you malt. <laughs> oh. Wait until you see him prepare food for this family. <laughs> yeah? Eh? <laughs> Are you trying to say that Papa Nkechi cooks? Cook? Cooking is the least thing he does in this house. I mean, my husband does house chores like eh? The father man is God sent. <laughs> you are really lucky to have such an honorable man as a husband. You can say that again. Udoka is such a peaceful man. He's loving. In fact, he's a father. He's everything to me. Mm. <laughs> you know, I've been here for long. I mm. think I have to start going because I don't want to make or have issues with my parents. No problem. So please help me tell Nkechi that I can. All right. <laughs> please say me well to your parents. I will. <laughs> All right, then. Okay. <laughs> bye. Yeah, bye. Hmm. Uh, Enki, huh? your father hosted me today like a princess. <laughs> Imagine him going all the way out to get a drink for me. <laughs> hey, Choma. My dad can even do more. That one you saw, it's nothing. My dad is not an arrogant person at all. That's what your mother said. Yes, sir. <laughs> wow. That's so nice of him. At that age, he's that humble. Oh, may God lift him. Amen. You know, I believe that God has been favoring him through people's prayers. As a secretary in this community, he doesn't even allow that to get to his head. Wow. Nice work. Um, oh, my good friend. Smart came to see me. And he said he wants me to meet him up in the city. And how are you going to do that? Considering your parents and Awala. 
That's why I came to see you. I need you to cover up for me. How would that be possible? You know what? I'm running out of time. I will be the one to drop you over and use the car for my crucial meeting. Dr. Wisdom, he seems to be forgetting something here. Generally, it is ladies first before gentlemen. And I always go with the car. After all, I contributed 75% of the purchase price. Oh, Victoria. I've seen how fast your oversight can elude you. When this car was purchased, was it not about the time our family friend he could be traveled? And we agreed that we would assist him financially. Was it not our agreement that we split the responsibility initially? So what's this fog all about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you forgotten? Thank God you reminded me of that. Come into it. Are you not lucky to have an enterprising wife like me that shares in your family responsibilities? You should thank your God for that. Victoria, I must be frank with you. I would have preferred to marry an illiterate who would respect me as her husband rather than to marry a fishwife nagging type like you. Me? I would have preferred ah! to... Dr. Wisdom, have you seen it? That is the reason I always maintain that you are an ungrateful bitch! You're a bitch! Other men out there would have aspired to have me as their wife. But here you are running your maggot wife. You, you know your maggot mouth! Oh, but running you my khaki! My special khaki with... Victoria, give me that khaki! Right? Give me the khaki! I will not... Victoria! Please! Don't look at me! Don't look at me! Don't look at me! Don't look at you! You're going to stop wearing your mother and you're me down with the khaki. My skin! Stop it! You're feeling it! Stop watching your people! Stop looking at my skin! My skin! I spent so much money to maintain. Stop it! 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 You see, my daughter, do not allow any form of intimidation from the opposite sex. You see, men, they always like to feel superior to us. The women folk. But mom, it's meant to be so. Because God created a woman out of a man. Says who? There is nothing wrong in God's creation. The book of Genesis made us to understand that God created them male and female. Therefore, they are all airborne. We are airborne. Mother. The Bible said that a woman should be submissive to her husband. Oh, have you forgotten that the same Bible was first to complement that by saying that the man should love the wife? Come to think of it, is this Bible a sort of um, two-edged sword? Mother, the man is the head of a family, just like Christ is the head of church. I don't have the strength to argue with you because I've already seen the spirit of defeatism in you. See, do not allow your humility to turn you to stupidity. Even as you are being proposed to smart, don't allow him to intimidate you. Yes, don't allow him to useless you because if you allow men, they will useless you. Always remember that you are airborne with smart. Men and women are Airborne. I've heard you, Mom. But could you at least live in peace with that? Even if it's for one day, for 24 hours, we could manage it, you know. Please, my daughter, do not allow any man to rubbish you. 
or useless you. You hear about domestic violence here and there. Man killing his wife over film she excuses. Shoma, say no to that. Sue when possible, when necessary. Sue that person to court and prove your rights. Mother, please, can I go now? Yes, you can, but know the truth because it is only the truth that will set you free. Sue when necessary. Don't allow any man to intimidate you. Did you hear that? Shoma, did you hear me? I should not allow you. Just look at it. Look at the car here. Had it been I allowed your father to intimidate me, he would have gone out with the car. But because I, Victoria, cannot be intimidated, and I know my right, I know that I have a war right with my husband. That is the reason I was able to retain my key, and my car is here. No man will intimidate me. Oh my God. Yeah. There's something I want to tell you. What is it? There is American returning. And the guy has been disturbing me now. He said that he wants to marry me. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's a good head start. So, um, what did you tell him? You know, I can't say anything to him now. I have you. You're my baby, I have you, and I don't need any other man. Um, I just wanted to ask you, like, when are we going to get married? <coughs> mm. <coughs> um, well, um, thank you very much for that consideration, but I don't see us going any further than being just friends. Huh? Baby, what do you mean? What are you saying? Do you mean that um, I cannot be your wife? You cannot marry me after like six years of dating? No, that's not what I mean. I mean, I've never seen us in that light. I mean, walking down the aisle saying, yes, I do to you. <laughs> Come on. I think, I think we're better off as friends. Hmm? Stop saying these things. Look at me. So do you just see me as a friend and not to marry? Let's not argue about this thing. Okay? It's not in my power to decide if you're going to be my wife or not. Alright? Babe, we need this now. I need you now. I need you to tell me sweet things, appealing things, make me happy. I'll make you happy because I love you. Stop saying this thing. Hey, 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 babe. I think we should just enjoy the moment. All right? Flow with the tide. The time will tell. It's as simple as that. But this is the time now. There's no other time. This is the time now for us to do this. I love you, you know it. I love you so much. Okay, okay. Stop okay. saying these things, okay? I, it's, it's, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, right? Yeah. Um, why don't we go to the other room and talk about this? Mm? Okay. Yeah, so get this settled, you know. Okay. Go Yo to the room, mm -hmm. make ourselves happy, and I believe that good news will come up or you're going to change. Your mind is stop saying those things, right? Maybe. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Let's All right, go. let's, let's go. go. Papa. You are back. Yes, Papa. Uh, where, where is my beloved? Uh, Mama is coming behind me. You are cooking, Papa. What, what about the tools? You didn't bring her tools with you? Mama insisted on carrying the tools, irrespective of my agitations. She wanted to carry them. Why would you do that? What does that tell of you? 
Why would you allow her to suffer after so much labor, labor in, in, in the farm? And what does that tell of you? Does that tell of you as a well trained lady? Don't you do that? Okay. Okay. Would it have been better that I pick a coil, Mama, when she insisted on carrying the tools? Next time, do not allow my wife to do extra labor other than the work in the farm. Is that clear? Crystal clear. Next time it won't happen again. And meanwhile, go right now and take the, 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 the tools from her. Okay, I'm going. Papa, I mean, Mama, Go and get it. Don't, 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 don't get me angry. Okay, okay. To allow my beloved to, 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 to be carrying tools by herself. What kind of thing is that? You know what my life, I won't eat until you have eaten. Mama, this soup is too sweet though. My love, you are the world best husband mm. and father. <laughs> You know, I don't know what I would have done without you. Mm -hmm. Honestly, Papa, my siblings and I are grateful to God for blessing us with a father like you. You're right. <laughs> and I just pray that God in his infinite mercy bless me with a husband like you. Amen. Amen, Mama. <laughs> Amen. Ikechi, my beautiful daughter, you see, before you wish for a man like me, yes, Papa. you must be as humble as my beautiful wife. <laughs> as you see her, she's love personified. <clears throat> she's respect personified. <clears throat> and a, an embodiment of love and beauty. Hi. <laughs> My love, you have finished me. You see, the picture you just painted about me, it's just like I'm an angel in disguise. Mm. Mm -hmm. You see, what you don't know is that even the crayon that I am using to paint, <laughs> I have not been able to see that particular crayon to ah. finish my painting about you. <laughs> you are the love of my life. Oh. I love you so much. And I love you more. Mm. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Mama. Someone is here. I'm still here, oh mama. Oh. Ah, ah. Wait, I'm oh. Still here. Did I you just say someone is here? I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't ah, know. Ah. I didn't know someone was here. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> mama? Did you didn't know I was here? <laughs> I didn't know you were still here. Okay, you didn't know. Mm -mm. <laughs> hey, <what's up? laughs> Victoria, I need you to sign this check. Let me use the money as something. And it's always them, I wonder why you always giving me problems. What do you want from me and why do you expect me to sign that check? Because I need it to solve family's issue. Dr. Wisdom, you seem to be forgetting something here. It is your responsibility to take care of this family, not with our joint account. So the only solution here is for you to go to your personal account and withdraw the money you need. Or you bring another check, writing, adding the same amount that you need in equal proportion to mine. Uh, 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 Victoria, have you seen that this feminism has swept you into psychological malady? Why, why, why do you drive joy in rubbing shoulders with me? Can't you see the reason for the money? Dr. Wisdom, I don't want you to talk to me like that again, else I will sue you for domestic violence. Jeremy! What is all this in the Jeremy! Jeremy! And Jeremy! you know you will not call for it. Come! Come and listen to what the mother says! Just come! Calling her is not the solution. Why? Would you kindly warn your mother? You can't sign this check. Let me use the money for your brother's taxes. Mom, sign it so he can meet up with my brother's request. Chuma, will you just shut up and allow your father to dwell in his foolishness? I will not sign that check because he's not supposed to send money to your brother. 
through a joint account. But joint accounts, hence, have decided to withdraw their money to solve joint family responsibility. And Dr. Wisdom, I said no. I am not going to sign the check. What an arrogant mother do you have? Choma, do you know that this family is in jeopardy because of your mother's callousness? I forgot. She's your wife. You've been living with her all this while, so I'm sure you know how to do that. No, 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 no. That's why you're getting it wrong. We've been living apart. We only get the chance of coming together per annum during our annual leave. That's it. I still insist that you know how to go about it. You've been tolerating her all this while. She is your wife. Right. She is my wife. Well, just for your information, if I go in there, I'm going to try fist on your mother so she will understand that I'm a man of this house. That's, Nothing but that. That's a mistake. That will be the grievous mistake that you're going to ever make. You don't hate women. Oh, but she seems to be my fellow man. Watch me. You should be very happy for the kind of parents that you have. Your parents are very influential, wealthy, and very rich. Hmm. I don't uh, understand. Uh, uh, my sister, uh, you are the one who is lucky. At least you have peace in your life and in your family. <laughs> my dear Choma, imagine you having all of your demands met. For me, <laughs> That's the opposite. My parents have to work. Work really hard before they can even give me anything. <laughs> We're still saying the same thing. Mm. Peace is paramount in life. Okay, you know what? Mm. Let's exchange. Come and have the money. Let me have the peace. <laughs> I need peace in my life. <laughs> you know, I think that's what we should do. <laughs> what is peace without money? It's just like a house abandoned by the owner for years. Of course, you know the wings will grow. So, give me money and take peace. <laughs> you will not understand. Mm. Calm down. You know that deep. Look at you now. See what I'm wearing. You know, see different. Look at your hair. But me, mm. both side. Nothing. Shingba. Chichi. <laughs> mm. Meanwhile, I'll be visiting Smart tomorrow. Mm. That means I'll have to come tomorrow. Yes, like we planned initially. My beautiful ladies, you know during our time, our mothers taught us to see men as our alphas and omegas. Unfortunately, most of my mates that succumb to that are no longer alive. They are dead. But Mama, can I ask you a question? If not, why not? Feel free. We are in an interactive section at this moment, so mm. you can say whatever you want to say. Thank you, Mama. Mama, is it wrong for a woman to be submissive to her husband. Thank you for that question. Because I have been asking my mom the same question all this while. <laughs> Tradition and custom, my foot. All men and women are equal. No one is greater than the other. Yes, Mama, you're very correct. And that virtues of ours has actually kept our home and so much peace and happiness. We need this food. If, what I want to do now, eh? Jesus Christ. Leave my clothes. Leave, leave my clothes. Get out. Get out. What are you doing in this house? What are you doing in this house? Do you, what are you doing here? 
What are you doing here? This is my husband's house. My husband's to be house. This is my husband's to be house. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Hey, 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 I want to kill you, hey, babe, babe. Let's let's go, what is this guy doing here? Let's go, let's go. Let's go. What's your problem? What do we know this nonsense? What, 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 what's this? Babe, so this is the idiot. This is the idiot that has been confusing you, my love. This thing. It's you that is an idiot for calling me names. Is he talking back at me? Believe. I don't even blame you. I don't blame you at all. I blame, I blame this thing that is here. That everything that you see is you enter. Will you I don't shut up? Shut up right now, so you don't have respect for my presence. Huh? What's the meaning of this? Respect. Respect for who? For me, of course. I should give you respect for cheating on me. I don't understand. How? No, no, no. I, I, I don't get it. No, che what are you talking? Cheating on you as what? As my lovely wedded wife or what? Is, is there something going on that I do not know about? No, 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 no. You tell me. Claiming ownership of a man that she's just. I tell you, you shut your mouth. You see, you see. Will you shut up? Was I talking to you? You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm sick and tired of both of you. All right? I want you to out of my house now. Get out. I want you out of my house. You're asking me out of... What, 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 what do you mean by that? Get out. Get out of my house. Get out. Now. Get out. Are you, are you mad? Get out of my house before I do something very stupid. And you think I'm joking? It's not fair. It's not fair. Eh? Get out of my house. Get out of my house now. Get out. I'm not going anyway. Don't push me. Don't make me do something I regret all my life. Now get out of my house now. Get out! Smart, you can do your own. See this place? I'm not leaving this position. What is this? Until you tell me that each other will be in this house. I'm not going no. anyway. Huh? I'm not going anyway. Do you hear my brain English? What did you say? I'm not going nowhere. Sorry. I'm not going nowhere. No, 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 say that again. I said I'm not going nowhere, you hear me? Uh, that was what you said before. Say it now. No, just, just try it. I'm going nowhere. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay. Hmm? Let's go. Ready. Listen. Come. Listen. Mama. If you people submit your term papers, will you be coming back today? Uh, Mama, considering the distance, I don't think that will be possible. But let's say, give or take, tomorrow afternoon we'll be back, okay? Yes, Mama. Uh, thank God you're into the system. Like I explained to you, we might get there and get to meet some tests and some quiz and all that. Yes. Some assignments. We have to stay put to work on them. It's okay, there is no problem. Just take care of yourselves. And don't forget to give me a call when you get there. Mm -hmm. And please, Mom, don't be too harsh on that. Ah, you tell your father as well. Just put a call across to him. Tell him not to disturb me. Eh? I mean, it does sound as if I'm the troublemaker in this house. The only problem we are having is that your father has been stubborn. He has refused to accept my philosophy of uh, uh, gender equality. That is the only problem Let's we're having. Mama, Let's go. Be Mama, later. Huh? Mama, later. Mama, take Bye. care. Bye. Bye. Take care. Respect is a reciprocal. Because this time I run bomba. Please, I want you to have this 5,000 Naira. Please. If not for you, I wouldn't have made it to the city. Uh -uh. I don't understand you, Chuma. Are you indirectly paying me for helping you? I'm not paying you, but you know how much my parents gave me for this trip. They gave me a whole lot. So this is for you. This is your own. Thank you for escorting me to the city. Hmm. Okay. I accept it. And thank you for your kind gesture. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. Uh -huh. Remember to avoid any temptation from smarts. Make you no gaso. I don't understand. What don't you understand? Okay. In case he wants to, mm -hmm. please try to play smart. In fact, tell him that you're in your period. I'm in my period, of course. Oh, you're in your period? Yes. <laughs> Works like that because my hand no deal. You know, it's a secret. This thing. Be I careful. Know. Make you no gaso. <laughs> you know your periods. I know. <laughs> Victor. You are very stupid to question my position as the head of the family. You see, this is a foolish pride. It will lead you to an irrecoverable fall very soon. Very, very soon you will see it. 
Dr. Wisdom, you are very senseless and stupid. What? Yes. Oh, you think I'll allow you to cage me like you did to your late wife? Never. Not this time, not tomorrow, never ever. It ain't gonna happen. I regret why we crossed paths in the first place. Look at you talking about gender equality, yet you allowed my daughter to go back to school without my prior notice. I am her father, yet I was not notified about her departure. Are you not an idiot for doing that? <laughs> Dr. Wisdom, you are the idiot. Just tell me. No, no, no. Give me one reason why you would not, as in, regret marrying me. Give me one reason. I know what you know. So, there is no way you are going to frustrate or cheat me. It will never happen. You are not going to cage me. I found out the reason why your late wife died. It was because she was an illiterate. She allowed you to frustrate her because she doesn't know her right. It's not going to happen to me, Victoria. Never, ever. Mm. Her Imperial Majesty Victoria. Oh, help me, please. She who oh, must be obeyed. Yeah. Now you think you have arrived, and then you are now an indispensable soul. Let me tell you something. You see, this is your foolish pride. It will soon take you to a deep blue sea, and you will sink like Titanic ship. Very soon, you see. Dr. Wisdom, go to the car and sit your dairy axe in there. That's the best place for you. Huh? Did I hear you threaten me? Mind you, next time you threaten me like that, I'm gonna see you to cut. I'm not threatening. I know! I'm not threatening. Heaven must not wait! Sue me! That's what you are good at! Always going to cut. Very soon, I will go to that court to fight for divorce before you know it. Shameless animal. An escalator. The wanton demon. Go to me my own. Why were you not the right? Every little thing you are going to cut. See me in court. That's your mantra. You me Yet you cannot life. perform your duty you as a wife. That's who you are. You are less coward, a demanding want to go. That's who you are, Victoria. See me to come. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Mm. Ah, ah. if that is a joke, please stop it. You see this, my darling husband. I will not even trade him for the most expensive gold. <laughs> so please, I will not sit down here and watch you lay claims on him. Hey, Mama, but we're talking about my own father, my papa. And we are talking about my own darling husband. Hmm. <laughs> Look, yeah. when you get married, you can give your husband as many pet names as you want. But you see this, my husband is mine and mine alone. Oh, wow. <laughs> I can see that. Okay, Chi. Papa. You see this beautiful woman here? Mm. You see this bundle of joy here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's 100% right. See, even the pussycat made a parable with itself. He says, do you know why I always cover my feces? Mm -mm. It is because I don't want somebody's thing to become another person's thing. Did so, you hear that? <laughs> I heard Did that. Did you hear that? Crystal clear. Mm -hmm. I heard that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, mama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, so what about Chioma? 
she's fine. In fact, she was very happy that I visited. And guess what? Choma gave me 5,000 naira. Eh? 5,000 naira? Ha! 5,000 naira, I'm telling you. Hmm. Hope you thanked her very well. Uh, of course now. She know my friend, because uh -huh. I thanked her. Look, take money from there. Mm. Go to Daruza shop and buy your father a bottle of beer. Because he's been the one doing all the errands you're supposed to do. Uh -huh. Ah, Mama, you're so impossible. You know what? I will not just buy Papa a bottle of beer. I will also buy you one because you, you, you two deserve it. Use that money you want to use for me to buy your father two bottles of beer. Mm. You want me to get drunk? As you wish. <laughs> hey! It's alright. I love it. Let me go and drop my bag. <laughs> you know that's when our love is sweeter. Huh? You know now. Huh? You know now. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah. oh. <laughs> Yay. Oh, you welcome back. <laughs> Dad, it's awful and shameful that you and mom are the ones frustrating my education. That is not nice. Uh, son, I am sorry for all the pains we have made you go through in school and not been able to meet up the financial requirements of your school. It's not I to blame. It's your mother here. How did I come into this now? David, you better warn your father not to mention my name again because I've already seen his plan Jamie's to knock hers together. What gimmick are you talking about, Victoria? Did I not come to your presence and mellowed my personage like those in grottoes, saying prayers, asking that you can't sign the check? Let me withdraw the money and make it available for David for his tests. What did you do? Like a Samian missus, you blatantly refused. Don't insult me. Don't call me names. Mind the words you chose. And did I not also ask you to add my own share to the check? Because it's a joint account. Oh yes, what did you do? You blatantly refused also. Mom, what are you saying? Did you just listen to yourself that that should add the exact same amount I'm asking for? For you as well? Oh yes! Mom! Because it's your father's duty to train you, not ours, not mine. His personal duty. Does it make sense to you? Did you hear that? David, have you seen why we're always having this verbal field? So if I am to withdraw a hundred thousand naira for you, I will also make available a hundred thousand naira for her own yes, personal use. Yes. The question is why? Why? Mom, why are you doing this to me? Why do you want to ruin my future? Mom, come on, I'm your son. Dad, what is all this? I'm, I'm just tired. Dr. Whitton, you are trying very hard very hard to force words out of my mouth. And if you don't take time, I am going to spill the beans. Spill the beans for all I care, Victoria. Why are you waiting as if there is thunder in the sky? I want you to spill the beans right now. Heaven must not wait until you spill the beans. Spill it. What beans are you talking about? That's what, what did you say? The only person that can introduce this bean we are talking about. Oh, Victoria, calm down. Calm down. The devil is such a... <laughs> Marzi, you become my friend. <laughs> um, what do I owe this August visit? Because you cannot be seeing Igu walking about the street here and there, here and there. So tell me, what brought you? Huh? Udoka, <laughs> Woko, Ma. You know, the communities, everybody gathered hands together and give you this title. Omudo Nkizizi. In this our community. As a peacemaker. And uh, by the grace of our ancestors, I have been trying. <laughs> Razi Mika, you're welcome. <laughs> Omudo, what brought me to your house? I came to report Aaron Ihedua to you. That man is looking for my trouble. Seriously. Ego. Ego. What? 
What, what, what is it this time around? Is it, uh, is it that thing? I thank our ancestors that you are the secretary of this community. Yes. And you were there the day our king want me and him not to enter into that uh, 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 disputed land. Yes, I, I, you cannot be telling me that I was the, the secretary like you know, and I took the meetings. Is it not the, 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 the council meeting, uh, meeting we had? As I'm talking to you now, Aaron and his wife, they are inside that land harvesting cassava. Shikini, I said, Miss again. You are not serious. No, tell me, you are not serious. I'm very, very serious. I'm a co-op on. I'm just giving you respect. I'm a tipu yopo. You need to go back home. Those ladies are so in your house. We're about to tear themselves apart before I left. So you need to go and sort them out. Hey, listen, why, why don't we go home so okay? You and who? Go back where? Me and you. I don't want anybody to wipe my brain cold. Nobody's going to wipe your brain cold. Come on. What are you talking about? Let's just, let's just I said they were about to tear themselves apart. Haven't you been listening to me? Don't worry about that, okay? They're not going to tear you apart. It's their business. So let's just go back home and talk about this. You've not been listening to me. Babe, please, let's go home and talk about this. They, they, they're not my business. I don't give a, give a fuck about them. That's what we need to hear. All right? Let's go home and talk about this. Please. You don't understand me. I said they were, they were, they were boxing the way. None of my business. Let's go home. Alright? Are you sure babe, I should? Babe, 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 please, please, please now. We are not children here. We are not children here. Now listen to me, Aaron. Why did you go to the disputed land against the instruction of our traditional ruler? Uh, well, do. I went there to harvest my cassava because I planted them. Yes. Aaron, you planted them. Yes. And so you now went into that land Stop only! After the traditional ruler insisted that you must not. Ezioha, when Ezioha is done with you, you will run up and down, you will not remember to carry your family. Chief Udoka, eh? let me tell you in case you don't know. I have long ago lost interest and confidence in Ezioha's judgment. Hmm. Ah, long time. So, except maybe he rethinks. Otherwise, me, I will take this matter to customary court. Aaron, let's go there. Eh? You foolish and, uh, 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 and shameless man. A very greedy man. That, that's what you are. So you are dragging my father's land with me, Abi. Aaron, let's go there. You will come back from that court with your face covered with shame. Nonsense, man, only worry. I am disappointed. Mm. In him. Aaron, I am disappointed. This your heart must hear this. So go and prepare your case since you have decided not to respect the Ezioha and his cabinet. The community! The community. Look, you people, I must take you guys to the customary court 
We shall meet at the customary court. Go to the court. We are coming. We will meet there. And you two of you, you are supporting him. You are supporting him. Go. We are waiting. We will come. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid Where of you. Are ready? I'm, afraid Tell of, us. I'm afraid of you. I'm afraid you of you. You don't have to be you afraid of you. me. You see you. You see you. Dad, you owe me a duty of explanation. Why is mom always taking severe decisions when it comes to my education? But then if it's trauma, everything is fine. Uh, my son, David. I don't think that your mother has any personal issue, or should I say something we call the uh, discrepancies, you know? The problem your mother has is this her senseless and baseless philosophy of gender equality that has disturbed her mental faculty. That's the problem. Dad, I don't think this has anything to do with philosophy. Eh? I've long noticed that mom just hates me for no reason. What? Yes, and the reason for this is what everyone has just hidden from me. David, what did I hear you say? You must withdraw that statement. Why would you say your mother hates you? But dad, is it not obvious? Ordinary panwine tapas are comfortably training their children in the university. But then my educated parents are finding it hard to train me. Who is fooling who? Dad. A letter of apology. You must tender a letter of apology before we go to the bank tomorrow morning. A letter of apology. What did I say? A letter of apology. Aaron. Aaron of all people. I just can't believe it. I can't believe it that Aaron challenging the, 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 the authority of, 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 of his yoha. No. My love, if you ask me, you do not need this shouting. All you have to do is just report to this since and have your peace. It's that simple. Love of my life. I think what you have said is, is reasonable. Is there anything you say that is not reasonable? <laughs> okay. I think I know what to do. I will have to call the easier. Because it is an insult to the traditional stool of the kingdom. I know. Now tell me, if you develop high blood pressure for an issue you are not directly involved in, who would you blame? Biango Kim, remember you are the very reason of my existence. The love of my life. You only say things that would make my heart happy. <laughs> no matter the turbulence that I face, you're my love for life. And I love you too. Love you too. <laughs> Look, no knife will cut her off. Not even the skies. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Mom, please forgive me for speaking rudely to you yesterday. I was under pressure. Please, Mom. David, this is the last time we're going to entertain this unruly act from you as parents. We will never, ever tolerate it again. I hope this is clear. Okay. Actually, David, there is a secret. Yeah. I'm going to tell you about it. It might not be now. But believe me, I must tell you about it because your father here is actually getting on my nerves and I don't want it. I don't Very like correct. it at all. You must learn how to control your tempest. You have been making things difficult for me as a retiree. The whole world is aware of this. Dr. Wisdom, you are the one causing confusion here because you have refused to accord me with equal rights. It is my rights. But you are the same now enemy of it. Ah. 
well, there are rules traditionally. There is no way you and I can be on the same matrimonial wavelength. I am your husband. Hello, Her Imperial Majesty. Is that what you're saying? Okay. I have stuff on that now. But let's see how it goes. Anyways. David. Mom. Because of your humility in begging me, I'll sign the check for you. Thank you so much, Mom. But after that? Thank you, Mom. Your father takes the responsibility of training you because it is his duty. And to add to that, he is a man with traditional power. Mom, please, I'm begging you. This should not bring issue between you and Dad. Besides, you guys have been living peacefully for years. Please. Oh, no, 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 David. Point of correction. We have never been living peacefully together. In fact, this is the slightest opportunity I have living with your mother. Little did I know that this is who she is, that she is this stubborn. Your mother here is an imperialist. I've never had a chance of being together with her. Now she is showing me hey, a no. bitch black, the black Dr. side Wisdom. of her. Doctor Wisdom, you are getting on my nerves. Enough of it. You have not seen anything yet because you have refused to give me respect and equal rights. You cannot just sit on my right and expect me to be happy. I would not, never, if you know no, I will give you the infantry to stand up while I'm still talking. Victoria, you are my wife. Nothing more than that. I'm so fucking what if you are my husband. You we have a ever right. Yeah, what I I'm saying we have a right, right here. The battle for you. Your wife, I will send you to the wife you are. Don't just shut up. You are a nugget of his wife. Don't shut up. And you have a useless. You are. My husband. Yeah, I don't even know how I come to fight up for you. Why is shut up? Shut, shut up! We have How Aaron could challenge the order of uh, Ezra? Who gave him the tenacity, the order, the gods? Eh? How? I don't understand. Well, this trend, if we allow it to continue, it will end up as a case study. And every other person will begin to toe the line. So we, we have to stop it right away. Bam! Uh, in fact, that will serve as a deterrent to others. Who will challenge his or has others? Yes, now. I'm telling you. <clears throat> well, that notwithstanding, I think you sh we should go ahead and give it to a maker. Give that the land to a maker. He it belongs to him. Um, okay. Um, in that case, as the Isinze, which that I am, of course, I will take, once I get the order, from Ezra, yes. I will give him the land straight ahead. Straight ahead, yes. That's as, part, I as soon as I get uh, his numbers uh, going through, no, that, that, that is the end of it. That's how it should be. And, and that's, by the way, uh, as the chief secretary of the palace, yes. are you done um, <laughs> <laughs> compiling the list of all the chieftaincies uh, awardees? Even before Ezra travel. Uh, I'm sure you must be working on the contract. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> is the Ichie Udoka. Yes. I trust you. That is my name. Yeah, I do. <laughs> the beer is growing every day, my dear. <laughs> hey, so what are we doing now? Are we, are we going to drink and wine? Mam Pam. Mam Pam. Auntie! Auntie! Hi! Hi. How are Mama, you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. You're welcome. It seems um, Auntie is not around because I've been knocking and there's no response. Uh, we actually went to the farm together and um, my wife insisted that I return back uh, to the house because she doesn't want me to work under the house. <laughs> 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 the kind of love you share with your wife, it is very awesome. I've never seen it before. <laughs> well, there is no smoke without fire. Yes, you're right. And I guess you want to know the secret. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Any woman who wants peace in her home would want to know the secret. Definitely. Okay, so make yourself comfortable. Sit down, sit down. <laughs> Thank you. Sit down.
Papa. This is little cake cola for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Must you get something for me each time I come here? Uh, why shouldn't I give you cola? Because I am more hungry than this one. Oh, that's right. And you're very intelligent. Now, remind me that you will be Chioma Wisdom. Not Chioma Budoka. Yes. That's so funny, Papa. So because I am not Chioma Uduka, you have to offer me something each time that I come here. That is the idea. So anytime you come to this house, you are a visitor. And when you meet me, be rest assured that you will get cola from me. Okay. You win. Yes. I will have it. Okay. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You see, love must be unconditional. And for the love to pass or survive the test of time, no attachment. It must not be attached to anything. It must be free and straightforward. Mm. Are you trying to say that we should not consider a man's pocket health wise? Exactly. Educational background? Age? Yes. Before we can get married to a man? You're right. That means you're getting me. That's what I've been trying to say all the while. First of all, love is not bought. That is, you can't buy love. Love is in such a way that it gives itself. And all of a sudden, you're not beginning to feel the love inside of you. You're now helpless. Whatever you say, whatever you do, whatever you want to feel is all about love for such a person. You can't buy that. I'm getting your point. Yes. And when we talk about love being unconditional, and you say, well, I want a very rich man. What if the money finishes tomorrow. The money vanishes, you no longer enjoy the wealth, you no longer go to Dubai like you want to go. You don't, you don't go to, you, you can't afford to, to go to Miami like you used to do. Before you know what's happening, something happens. Are you going to be there? That's the fact, I'm not going to be there. You're going to divorce him. That is true. And if you also consider the factor of the man being a very handsome man, rich man, wanting to know, and he has an accident tomorrow, and unfortunately may lose his leg or his hand or even an eye, what becomes of that man? The handsomeness is going to vanish. Totally vanish. You see? They are bringing in education. Education is good, but then two captains must not be in relationship. They will always be pouring all the time. Oh, oh Mama, NK! <laughs> the love of my life. Yeah, welcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Mm -hmm. welcome. Have a good day. Thank you. How are you? Fine. Mama, welcome. Oh, thank, you. Oh, thank you, my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm back. <laughs> are you serious? You know, it's even good that you took him by surprise, my dear. I was there. I stood. I was embarrassed, frustrated to the point that I did not even know what else to do. I had to leave. You had to leave your own fiance's house. Talk about the devil. That one that caused herself, Jennifer. Huh. <laughs> the one that says that she's uh, his past wife. She for just tear me. Hey, that one embarrassed me. Are you serious? I was on my way leaving him. When he mm. saw me, he stopped me and started talking to me. Wait, oh. could it be that the Jennifer called him when you left? My dear, it seems you've not been listening to me. Let me download it down. Let me load it down. Tell for me, you. I'm listening. Let me give you the images. Mm. Another our smart girlfriend came to the house. I met Jennifer. Another one. Ah, it was a blowing things. Eh? Jesus, it took everywhere bust. Jesus. That's the between punches, punches, punches. Ah, my dear, I ran for my life. Ah, ah. Wait, are we talking about the same smarts? Hmm. Hey, 
That guy is smart. He's not even smart after all. Eh? My dear, it's good that you left though. It's good you did the right thing. So were you expecting me to go and be separating the fight? If they punch my eyes or blow on my eyes, I won't like my parents. And I went to the city to, to look for smart. They made time. Eh? Hey. 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 I can't believe this. Your own fiance's house, my dear. Just come and see me off. I, 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 like I'm so tired. Hi. Nobody's playing. Let's go so you can rest. Hey. Smart. I don't understand. Oh, really? So you have allowed your mother's arrogance and weird lifestyle to elude you. Choma, you are gone with the wind. Mark my word, you are gone with the wind already. Dad, I still don't understand you just speaking in parables. Well, have I done something wrong then you go straight to the point and tell me? Imagine you left. Oh, fine. When you left, you traveled to only God knows where. Did you tell me? While you were there, did you call me? The answer is no. You didn't do any of this. So you want me to keep mute with your insane character? Uh, no, with your numbskull attitude, I should keep mute and not to talk. Dad, I am sorry. I don't want to hear that word, sorry, because what you are doing, you are doing it on purpose. Mama, why are you wasting your time begging him? You don't have any need to apologize to your father because he deserves every word he considers as an insult. Hence, you have decided to sit on my rights in this house. Victoria, this your arrogance, this your pride will meet the weather. But I don't want to disturb myself so much because I know I am the man. I married you here with my hard earned salary from civil service. But not to worry. You see you, you small rat. I will go traditional. I must tell you that I am a spout. Little rat like you, I know what to do for you. That's not the problem. Uh, Chairman, my darling. Please go inside and relax your nerves. What? After toiling in school, you don't deserve to come here and face verbal violence. Just go inside and relax, okay? Wait for you know, I must kick against it. How have to find You are brushing me off my duty as a man. I'm talking to my daughter and you are commanding her to go inside while I'm still talking. Shoma! Um, Imagine the girl! Oh, listen, listen. Let me remind you. Are you now the man of the house or I am the man of the house? Dr. Wisdom, a few seconds back, you called me a small rat. That's who you are. Okay. I will show you the power and the rocks of a small rat. Of course, you know what I'm capable of doing. It's not a matter of shouting. This time around, I'll have to give it to you. Back to back. Not a matter of seeing it cut. Victoria, I will show you that there is poison for rats like you. I'll show you that there is poison for rats like you to limit you from a nefarious attitude, nefarious function in this house. I am the man of the house, and there's nothing you can do about it. What arrogant nonsense. You cannot limit me from my responsibility. No way. You cannot do that. You cannot do it right now, not any other time. Smart, they're not born you well. They're not born you well. You, you, you. You 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 be making sense. You be making sense to me. You want to tell me that after all these years, you want to dump me for another woman? Smart. I'll go to hell and do whatever you want to do. But I'm telling you now, I, I, I never promised you marriage. All right? We're just friends, and friends we shall be. Tell Smart. Me you never promised me marriage. I never promised you marriage. After all those years, after all those suitors that have been coming to me, that have been rejecting me, I've been with you, I've been beside you. 
You are now saying to me that you did not promise me my smart. You know, I thought you were smart because you had something of sense. But obvious, you are dumb. There's nothing in that big head of yours. But you are mad. You are a big fool. You are an idiot. Wait, 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 wait. You are mad. Wait, 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 wait. Say that again. Wait, 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 wait. You are a fool. Hey, hey. You are a fool! Hey, 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 smart. Hey, listen, listen, you're my man, man. You, do, you don't need to do this now, huh? Why are you making your zen on a public video call? Bro, huh? if you don't want blood to flow, tell this girl to get the hell out of my house. Come tell her now! Come on. Okay, come on. Can you imagine? Because of this fool, my fiance came to this house and she left! Now I don't even know where she is. Her numbers are not gone. Why did you allow her to sleep out in the first place? It's not because of her. She and Priska turned my house to a battlefield. Coincidentally, my girl came in here and saw them fighting, and she had to leave. Ask this girl, did I promise you marriage in any way? Did I propose to you? Ask your friend too. Ask him. If he did not promise me marriage, why would he take me around to his football games, to, to, to his club, everywhere he's going? He would take me with him. Okay. Why? Gentlemen, mm -hmm. lady, you, um, don't, you don't have sense. No, why? Why do you waste my time? No, it's, don't. it's okay, it's okay. Listen. I think um, I'll prefer a solution to this situation. I beg you maintain peace, okay? Huh? Nonsense. It's okay. You wicked animal. No, 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 don't tell me that. This one is the very wicked animal. He's very wicked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God punish you. My God will punish you. Punish you will you. never be happy in this life. You will never be happy to. If you want peace to win in this house, then tell this girl to leave this house now. Tell her to go. I need her out of my house now. You know what, leave me, I will leave, but I will be back for you. This is not just, I will be back for you. Get out, get out. Go to hell. Old bag. It's bad. <laughs> that lady sounds annoyed, alright? You don't just, you have to call her back and apologize to her. Don't underestimate the power of a lady. Man, stop sounding stop sound like a coward. What do you mean by that? Eh? She can go to hell. I never promised a marriage. Alright, so what, what, what are you telling me? No, my mouth, the right of relationship issues. I deal with it. I've said my own. That lady sounds dangerous. Better call her. Stop, right? stop sounding like one coward. What's your problem? Sounds dangerous. What do, what do you mean by that? So, because she sounds dangerous, I should, I should be scared or I should be shaking. Never underestimate the power of a lady. Forget that nonsense. <laughs> call her boy right now. Smart the play, bro. Come to my house and you want to ruin my life. Come to think of the boy, you're so bitchy. You just have laid that lady. Look at me, you push it down. Don't tell me that. Bad guy. I'm not ready for that. There's no problem. I'm not ready for that. Shouting at me like this. Forget the ball. Let's go. See, I'm Betsy. Let me tell you the truth. I always like to say the truth. Nothing but the truth. If one these things say, it is nothing but a typical lie. Eh? Betsy, marrying an educated man does not guarantee a peaceful home or a beautiful home. It is better you marry an illiterate, yet have a peaceful home. <laughs> it is for you, Callista. As for me, Elizabeth, it is better to marry a poor promising graduate than to marry an illiterate millionaire. You know? Betty, open your eyes. Me pe anya gi Betty. Now tell me, answer me this very simple question. How about Mr. Wisdom's family? Are they not educated? Of course, everybody in this village knows that they're educated. And well read. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, Betty, answer me this question. Can you, Betty, evaluate or assess their marriage ever since they came back to this village for their retirement? Just look at what you're saying. So I should start going to people's marriages and home to evaluate and check, eh? I mean, which marriage or which home that doesn't have their own challenges? What challenges are you talking about, Betsy? Can they challenge this in Okudimakia? Challenges of fighting and quarreling every day. Challenges for Madame, and what is that her name? Gloria requesting, demanding, and asking her husband to share the property equally. Put you on. What are you saying? You are a promising young girl that will get married tomorrow and also be in a husband's house. So why will you go around to start putting eye in people's business? Eh? Please, oh, bring me down. Bring me My down. My friend, Mechipugyonu, stop pretending. 
Why are you pretending? It is your type that pretends a lot. He put an remember the thing. I bet shut up your mouth. No problem about it. I will advise you mind your business in this village. I leave people's family alone. Hmm? Uzoko. I don't blame you. I blame you too. Ndi ben nagi na you tell that one. Mama, do you even think about me at all? Your father first. My father first. Mm -hmm. And me second. Yes. Thank God is my father. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here comes my ah. hero. The hey. love of my life. The husband of my youth. My best friend. Mm. Papa, handsome man. My pinking daddy. Mm. My mama's sweet hero. Mm. Look at you. Hey! Jealousy coke. <laughs> mm -hmm. The love of my life. Look at how the cloth fits me so well. You look amazing. Why wouldn't it fit you? You are the apple of my eyes. <clears throat> the man of my dream. My everyday love. Yeah. You know, I made this cloth with so much love. And especially for you. Yes, mm. because it connected. When love and creativity comes together, there is an interpretation that brings me to where I am. Mm. You can see that. <laughs> <laughs> we have heard you. Mm. Our ears are not paying us. <laughs> Please, shout it loud. allow a single girl like me to have peace. Mm -hmm. My tongue shall come. Oh, mm. You then. see. <laughs> My beautiful wife and I will continue to provoke envy in you. And <laughs> Kechi. <laughs> Go mm -hmm. and marry your own husband and let us be. Oh, yeah? <laughs> you see, both of you, Mama, Papa, both of you will not lead me into temptation of getting married by fire and by force. The love of it my will life, not happen. I think, I think, the love of my life, I told you that this girl has been so envious of us. You, you doubted it. Nice. Are you serious? <laughs> my life. Mm. My God. heart beats. Mm. Yes, dear. My everyday husband. <laughs> Let's go to the other room. We have to discuss. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, we, we, we have something to discuss. Um, I know you like the sound of that. Yes. <laughs> but you take it easy. Mm, oh, come on. Please hey. hold this. Take it easy. Mm. Ha ha. <laughs> Look at these two people. <laughs> take the lead. Ah. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine this? These people cannot even get over their love for each other. Um, it's in there. <laughs> and yes. um, <laughs> Doctor. On the by Nase, but if you do then a cook, a madonano, a madonna cook, or dead nano. Enjoy the coin. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You are truly the son of the soil. <laughs> Good. Mm. As the Isinze, mm -hmm. I have the authority yes. to open the wine. Oh. Isn't it? Oh, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> All right. Mm. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah. Sit yourselves. Okay. <laughs> Look at the body. Don't let this one, this one, this one we should go, no? Oh, shit. That's, that's the procedure. Oh, <laughs> you heard the sound? You heard the sound? Yes. yes. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you see, you see. <laughs> Dr. Wisdom, you see? Yep. Of all the times you have sojourned in the city, you are still very much abreast with our culture Why and tradition. Why won't <laughs> wow, hey, this is good. Oh. This is lovely. You see, this is not the illicit gogo that we normally take around. Oh, no. We can see this is a foreign wine. Look it's tasting it. nice. It's look at the color. <laughs> look at the color. Just look at. Oh, just it's free. Hi. Be safe. <clears throat> Hi. Nah, eh? Okay, yeah. Yes. 
Oh, what's the name again? You call it uh, Konya. Konya. <laughs> hey, it is not Ogogoro. Konya. Hey, this is not the illicit Ogogoro that we normally take. See, look at the way his skin is uh, <laughs> shining, fresh, looking fresh. Good thing <laughs> is good. Not those Ogogoro that we normally take that make us look older than our age. <laughs> Doctor Wisdom, you see? Uh -huh. Good thing is good. Yes. And I can see if I continue to drink this. Con, 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 if I continue to drink this con, con, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> in the next one month, I will look like Koimbo. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, now I think, um, Dr. Wisdom, oh, that we don't forget what brought us yes, here because of your con, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it that? <laughs> is it Dr. Wisdom? We, we were here in respect of uh, the chief Tansu matter. Right. Yeah. Yes, um, if I may ask, please, can you tell your wife to excuse us? Uh, yes, because this is a meeting for men yes. only. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. At the instance of the Enze hmm? uh, 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 That's not a problem. Uh, excuse me for a moment. It's all right. <laughs> oh, well, sweetheart, uh, uh, please, you will have to excuse us. These are um, chiefs from Ezoha. It's all about uh, traditional matters. So we would like to talk, uh, you know, in more concise way. <laughs> That's it. All right. So uh, that is taken care of. <laughs> Doctor Wisdom, if you don't mind, it's better you respect yourself. Don't just start what you will not finish, else you will not like it from me. You will not like my reactions. Um, <laughs> this is, um, as you can see, my husband and I will share things equally. So, um, let's hear why you were sent by Izoha. Um, uh, no, 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 no. You see, um, Madam Wisdom, our tradition for peace starts. Yeah, you, you need to excuse us if you don't mind, please. Yes. Oh, 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 so it's all right. <laughs> See, um, in that case, sorry for my choice of words. Get out of our compound now. Excuse me, Victoria. I said, get out! No, 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 you don't need to talk to them rudely. These are men, the cabinet members from Ezoha. You, you don't talk to them rudely, okay? Dr. Wisdom, just, you're just provoking me and you're getting on my nerves. You are getting on my nerves and I don't like it. Victoria Hodge. Why would this man take you most superior to me? Why? Oh, 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 sorry, it's a. Uh, I do, do not take this to heart. I, I, we're just trying to streamline uh, some intellectual uh, 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 mainstream. You, you know, there's something we'll call matrimonial agama. My, my, my please, I, I, I don't want you to take, take to heart what my wife just displayed. I, I, I can tell you this with all sincerity. She has not been the best of her mood since morning. I, I, you know me, I will fix this. Udoka, of course you know me. When I say I will fix, I will fix. Um, right. You see, Dr. Wisdom, I don't know if your wife too much education has have made her lose the sense of our tradition. Hey. You need to see the way she was shouting, shouting, Wait, go, go, go. Are you sure she's not taking? And I hope you have not allowed yourself to be, to to, to be under her room. Oh, please. With all respect, can we expunge this my matrimony affairs and then go straight to the reason you are here in the first place? Um, okay. Please, let's um, the, just expunge. The reason why we are here is that Ezo. Ask us to come and see you. And to inform you that the community have decided to give you Chief Tansi title. Yes. That's why we are here. Yes. And your wife is for your and for your meritorious uh, contribution and uh, accompl accomplishment. Yes. To, you know, to the custom and tradition of this of this our community. Udoka. Mm -hmm. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. This is a memorable one. 
all of them. Yes. In fact, I am enthused. I must tell you this with all sincerity. <laughs> and my sincere appreciation goes to His Royal Majesty. Eh? <laughs> right? You see, I, 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 I will come. You know, to you know, give him feedback in no distant time. I mean, yeah, there is no a right. Yeah. So I, I will appreciate this very well. So very soon, I'm going to do away with this and yeah. replace it <laughs> with the recap. <laughs> oh, who am I? Oh my, oh my. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> um, I'm happy. We 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 so much appreciate the entertainment you give us. Oh, in your house. It's, a, it's called a talking. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Okay, at that point, we have to be on our leave. Uh, it's all right. That, that drink, cognac. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that drink. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> because of your work, I couldn't carry it. Oh, it's okay. Just ah, reserve it for me. Ah, it's okay. <laughs> let me just, uh, uh, let me just throw some foods. <laughs> so we call it. First foot fall. Oh, oh that's uh, interesting. This man, too much grammar. Eh? That's the way. That's the way. Right, like Doctor Wisdom. You know when I when I was too in Lome, uh, you know I served uh, the government of Lome very peacefully. Doctor Wisdom, what did those lousy dairy men come to do? Victoria, you know I called you right now. You better shut that your mouth up. Imagine you referring to first class chiefs as dirty men. Very soon, you will end yourself a royal curse. Bet me. Let me just pretend as if I did not hear what he said. I just want you to warn those dirty looking men not to step their wretched legs into this compound again to talk to me in a disrespectful manner because I am not in their stupid class. Not in the same class with them. They're stupid. Pity. You think every man is like me that you've been treated with ignominiously, without respect, without fear? Oh no. Those men you refer to as dirty men are capable of, you know, defining and deciding your fate in this community, willy-nilly. Oh, my God. Just listen to yourself. You're, you're just stupid, worthless, senseless, and what other word would I say? You're an idiot for saying that. Who is that idiot? Who is that stupid man that has the right to decide my fate? If not God Almighty, even the governor of this state has no right to do that. Not to talk of those senseless, worthless, and local errand men. Just listen to yourself. Uh, Imperial Majesty. Oh, yeah. Very soon. You are going to swim inside a ditch and I, Dr. Wisdom, won't be there to save you. Ah, no, no. It seems you are trying to forget something. Let me remind you that anyone that tries an innocence with me will earn himself or herself a court case because I will not hesitate to sue the person. <laughs> that drink so sweet. Eh? I wish I can be drinking that kind of drink. See the color looks like what? Konya or Konya. Konya. <laughs> Wait, so, yeah. um, it looks like uh, in Wisdom house, the captain of that house is his wife. Because of the way she behaves. <laughs> what do you expect? A woman who is so educated and they learned her family. They are so rich. They are, she came from a very wealthy family. Mm -hmm. Yes, that was why she walked her way to retire at the exact time that her husband retires. Oh, what are too much? Imagine a woman <laughs> that's cross when she wants to urinate. 
she was crossing her leg, crossing her leg before Red, Red, Red Chief Cap of this kingdom. No it's respect, no nothing. At all. Eh? It, and it's not as if she's from another kindred or kingdom. She's from this our community. Oh. She knows our doors and don't. Eh? Yet. Ha. Hmm. Um. I think such a woman will involve her. Will involve her to get into trouble. So Ezioha will now invite her. And we are very sure that in the presence of Ezioha, she will also be crossing her leg, crossing her leg, and she will fall into the trap. Then the punishment she deserves, she gets it. Um, Zeudoka. Mm. That woman likes trouble a lot too, the way <laughs> what I heard. Mm -hmm. uh, and she likes going to court and before you know it, she will sue the person. So my hand, okay. I don't come and come and drop here. This is, uh, it is because she has not met her match. Abby? Yes, because someday the lawyer, the judge, everybody in that court, when she meets her match, Everybody, they will run away. I can just see her. Can they please? Not to be swear, 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 swear. I, I was watching you the way you were drinking that. Uh, what's uh, the name of that drink? I will go back. What's the name of that? Konya. Konya. I will go. You okay? You go back. I will. Ma, hope the food remaining in the pot will be enough for your father. Yeah. Mm hmm. It will be enough. Mm -hmm. But there's no more meat here. This is the last meat I put in here. What? Last meat? No more meat. How can you bring the, 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 the only meat left there here? Eh? So you don't want my husband to eat meat? You want him to eat without meat? Eh, Nketi? What kind of negligence and insult is that? Mama. Mama. For how long will this continue in this house? How long? What, what, what do you what, continue what? I don't understand you, Mama. I don't understand. Eh? Your family will buy fish and meat to prepare food. And only Papa has the right to, to, to eat from it. Why? I don't get it. Nkechi, mm -hmm. your father is my priority. He comes first after God. So I need him to feed healthy so that he can stay long for me. Hmm? Okay, fine. And you're talking as if Papa's long life and, and, and good health is not a benefit for all of us. Is it not? Hmm? But does it mean that every other person in this house will starve? But only Papa will eat. Is it not fair now? Uh -uh. It's not fair, Mama. Please. Please. Your father comes first. If you're not comfortable with it, you can, you can, it's all right. When you get married to that, your husband, you can treat him whichever way you want to treat him. I don't care. Mama, please, 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 don't allow me. I, 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 I will lose appetite too. You know, I, you lose like appetite, appetite if you want to lose appetite. I will lose, lose appetite. appetite. I know it's your plan. You, 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 I, I, you, you I'm brought not the only meat. You are not even afraid. Uh -uh. You brought the only uh -uh. meat. What's going on here? Uh -uh. Mama, what, 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 what kind of has been this one? Mama, are you taking the only meat inside too? Are you taking it to Mama? Mama, bring the meat now. Will I eat without meat? <laughs> Mama! Just vex now. If I if I vex now, if I vex now, it's not good though. If I vex now, it's not good. I'll lose my appetite. Eh? I'll lose my appetite. Joma, how could you be this heartless? How could you be this heartless? How could you be this heartless and wicked at the same time? I know I hurt you. Yes. Well, at least take your calls to tell me where you are. What all this? Did you actually walk into my compound to say Elena? Are you crazy? I'm assuming my parents were around. Is this how you're going to be talking to me? I don't care! I don't bloody care! Alright? Do you know what I passed through searching for you everywhere in the city? Do you? You're a very heartless man. You're the one who is wicked. Do you know what I went to come into the city to look for you? Do you? Listen, I'm sorry. Okay? I I'm truly sorry. My outburst was as a result of my my anger. I'm, I don't I'm care. You are a beast and a devil incarnate. Now leave me out. Get out of my compound. Are you seriously asking me about this compound? Give me my own. I don't give you your own. 
if you give me my right to you, I go give you your own. For this is who they are, now he go right to you. This one don't pass it wala. So who are Kali? If you don't know, kiss your face. If you don't know, kiss your face. If you know, Giri, I know, go Giri. Well, this one looks like the the bottom part because all the taste are packed in there. <laughs> ah, mm. are you serious, my love? Mm. <laughs> Am I not your, your beloved anymore? I will never tell you what is alright. Hmm? Wait. Are you for real? Sorry. Even when there is no meat. Every day cannot be Christmas. And of all the meal you prepare in this house, 98% to 100% meat or fish you cook, you give them to me. <laughs> so what else can I ask for? <laughs> 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 ah, my love, mm. you are the true meaning of contentment. And you know why? Mm -hmm. Tell your baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You always appreciate and compliment every little thing I do. And I'm so grateful. I love you. Look at my lost and found ring. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a perfect match. In fact, I'm the luckiest man standing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> My love, this is the last piece of meat in this house. And I reserved it for you. <laughs> you had to hide it? Inkechi hmm. wanted to eat it. But I refused. I took it and hid it for you. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. What could I have done without? Come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you, my sweet husband. I love you too. I love you too. <laughs> mm. um. <laughs> Choma humiliated me today. She insulted my personality. And then she asked me out of her house. Can you imagine that? Just look at you, Miss Matt. I thought by now, you must have tried to bring down your pride. At least let's see how we can solve this issue. Look at you. Huh? What do you mean by pride? Still... No, I don't, I, don't, I don't understand. What, what do you mean by pride? If I had pride, would I be looking for her in this village? If I had pride, would I go to the police station to report that she was missing? Oh, please. Please cut the fuse, um, smarts. Huh? Who is fully who here? Is Choma a child for you to be going around looking for her in police stations? Is she a child? Don't you know what's going on? No, I don't. Tell did, me, did I, did, I, did I do anything wrong now looking for Choma? I don't understand. Oh. Don't you know what's going on right now? Are you not part of this country to know that there's insecurity right now in the country? Or haven't you heard where they use people who go to lodging hotels for rituals or, or, or something else? Don't, 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 don't tell me that. I did what I could do to save someone I have feelings for. Don't so, you have a house? Is she supposed to be lodged in the police station at the first place? Don't you have a house? You're very lucky that nothing... Ah, German. I don't know. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well done. Mm. I agree. You're very lucky that nothing happened to her because I knew she was in your house. If not, I would have got you implicated. So how are we going to sort this out? I don't know. Eh? How, don't know. How, how will you help me? How do you come in, help me, sort this out so that I can have her back, please? You messed up big time, Smart. You messed up. So how do you sort it out? I know I messed up, so what's up? What's the way forward? Just go and see how you can appease her heart. Then maybe I can come in and smooth things for you. That's all I can do. Alright. Here, this is for your time. Mm -mm. Just go and talk to her first. Then maybe money can come in. It's for my heart. I'm serious.
Um, wait, oh. Betty. Do you recognize that young man with Nkechi? <laughs> Is that not smart? Where run? The land grab. Uh -uh. So you know him and you pretended like you don't know him at all? What were you expecting? I should rush into his arms. Like, uh, 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 like a fly. Or if you bet you know, try. Do you know, I was expecting you to show simple gesture or familiarity. Mm. Eh, bah. Familiar spirit. <laughs> my dear, let me tell you. I don't want my name to be at the top court of village gossips like you. Hmm? Tomorrow night, they will say that I, I want to snatch Chioma's fiance. Look at me. Bring me down. Bring me down, Kalista. Biabeti, if not that you're my friend, then Kalista can take my lachaga. Do you know you're very stupid to have said that to me? Eh? Look at you. No, take a good look at yourself. In your mind, you think you're good enough to snatch smart from Choma. Who is your father or their dollar? Negodugi? Eh? Who is your father? How much do you people have? Is your father educated, let alone your mother? No, who is your mother? Eh? Want to snatch who? Kalista, don't what? insult me. Don't insult me. And you seem to forget. Well, I will tell you for free. My family might not be rich, but they were able to see me through the university. Mm -hmm. Do you get? Mm -hmm. And they made me a graduate. A sound one at that. So, if you don't know, let me tell you that I am a graduate, a sound asset for my future husband. And I'm not a husband. I will go they come. I not see my skin. I'm seeing it. So Negoli, you went on a village. Mm. Mama, mm -hmm. this man gave me the whooping sum of 10,000 era. Mm. 10,000. Hey. Although I refused though, but I insisted that I take it and I took it. Nkechi. Yes, Mama. Mm -mm. Let me ask you. Mm. Listen, if you start rejecting his gift, the next thing he will begin to see you as an obstacle. Hmm. Uh -huh. Obstacle. <laughs> Happy <be> witch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Hey. Oh, Nkechi. Uh -huh. <laughs> My own share of the money. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mama, I don't understand. Which one is your, your, your own share of the money? Eh? Since when did me and you now have joint um, partnership? Mm -hmm. Since when? Well, let me ask you. Ha. If eh? it were to be fight, would you have gone alone? Mm. Would you have called me? Mm -hmm. Now it's money. Mm. Go, give me money. <laughs> Okay, you have won, Mama. You know you always have a way with your words. No problem. I will give you 3,000 there. If you are giving me 3,000, how much are you giving my love? Uh -huh. Which one is your love? Uh -uh. Mama, does everything have to involve Papa? Uh -huh. Eh? Uh -huh. Hi, now wow. Look, if you know you are not giving him anything, don't bother giving me because I will not take home. Uh -huh. You won't take uh -huh. Okay, no problem. I will give Papa 2,000 Naira. So now I'm giving both of you 5,000 Naira. Uh, don't worry, I will make it own to uh, 3,000. I can't uh, take more than him now. Uh -huh. <laughs> take. There is 5,000 Naira. If you like, give Papa everything. Then what take? Uh -huh. 5,000. Listen, mm. you have given us the money. Yes. How we share it is no longer your business. Let me count it if it's complete. Count it, it's complete. <laughs> papa this, Papa that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Right hey. here. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, hey Mama. You oh. <laughs> will not give me. Of hey. course. You are still counting it? Yes, ma'am. Hey. <laughs> Mm. You, I don't trust you. For what we miss. Oh yeah, now. Respect is a reciprocal. Give me my own, I go give you your own. If you give me 
my right ear, I go give you your own. Mm. Dr. Wisdom, but this has... you promised telling me why those palace chiefs you are here the other time, but up till now, you've not said anything about it. So, would you mind spilling it out now? So, suddenly, you are now interested to know their mission after, you know, referring to them as dirty chiefs. Suddenly, you are interested. Dr. Wisdom, have you seen the reason why I always refer to you as an educated illiterate? Yeah. You went through the university. You passed through it. But you did not allow the university to pass through you. You are antisocial. Oh! Ha, ha, ha. Bravo! Bravo! Her Imperial Majesty, oh, come, Victoria! Come. Cool! Yeah. You, that is not an antisocial individual and haven't allowed the university to go through you, is that why you are always arrogant and stupid? You only address and qualify me with such adjectives because I refused to be intimidated by you or you allowing you to frustrate me, thereby sending me to my early grave, just like you did to your late wife. You, Victoria, the youth accuse me of being responsible for what happened to my first wife. You are a snitch. I tell you most sincerely, you are a black meller, a cheap one at that. <laughs> you were interpreting this from me, all right? Where are you? Oh, Dr. Wisdom. You see, Victoria is wiser than you. Yeah. So, there is no time I will allow you to intimidate me or frustrate me. I will... The, the, the gap between us is too long. There is nothing you will do to come near to me. So... And that is the reason, that is what is biting you on your skin. And very soon, you will be out there in the street because you will be mad. You remove your clothes and run mad in the streets. Victoria, you are nothing but a numbskull. Oh, that's always done. You are a local network witch. You are a Nikan Pro. That's oh, what you are. You are a black sweat lie. You are a scallywag. That's what you are. Entity. You're you stupid, senseless, you but a knocking fish wipe Yeah, that is what you are. You will be reduced to the size and of an ant. And I will reduce you to nothing you because you, you, you there is no way that they can capitalize this world. You know what's good for this apostle? If you know what's good for this daughter of Casey Bell, ask her to leave my house now before I kill her here. Because they are mouth to talk. This is your friend, they are mouth to talk. God bless you, I do not stab your chest. That's why you are still talking, you this shameless idiot. See you. I will kill you. God bless you. Wait, 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 See, I'm telling you, see, I don't support this, okay? You, you, your action was barbaric, huh? You know you could have been sent to jail for all this. Listen, listen, if this girl does not leave this place before I go in and come back, you have yourself to play. Two of you are doing the same. Bears of the same feathers. What did you see? Hey, look, don't come at me, all right? I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not smart. Try me, I will dismantle this on wakey face for you. Wakey face? Yeah. This thing that smart did to me, will you allow him to do to your sisters? Should I curse them? Should I curse your sisters and your, your, your incoming wife so that this thing will happen to her? Should I curse them? You are backing for him. Is, is that right? <sighs> it's quite unfortunate, you know, my